Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Linguistics. Uh, today's session will be about creating or drawing morphological trees in um, English. This means that we are going to see how different morphemes interact with each other, creating um, new words in English language. And uh, of course, this can be applied to any other language, um, but because we are dealing with English, so we are going to be just talking about prefixes and suffixes because they are the most um, you know, used morphological processes in English. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So before drawing any morphological tree of, for any word, we have to divide the word into different mor morphemes. So we have to know the different suffixes, prefixes, and roots that make up the word that we are dealing with. So for example, this insincere, insincerity is made up of three different morphemes. So we have this in prefix, we have this sincere, which is the root, and which is an adjective, and then we have this it, which is a suffix. And uh, second of all, we have to label each morpheme. So this in, as I said, is a prefix, sincere is an adjective, and it is a suffix. After that, we label, we have another label in there. So in, which is a prefix, if added to this insincere, uh, to sincere, sorry, which is an adjective, it gives us an adjective, which is insincere, which is, which is insincere. And if we add this suffix it to this adjective insincere, it gives us the word insincerity, which is, of course, a noun. So first, we divided the word into different um, morphemes. So we have the prefix, the adjective, and then the suffix. And when we combine this prefix with the adjective sincere, it gives us another adjective, which is insincere. That's why we wrote adjective here. And then when we combine this it suffix with the adjective insincere, it gives us the word insincerity. So insincerity is a noun. That's why we labeled it as a noun here. So this is as far as the word, um, as the first example is concerned. So the second example is encouragement. This is just an easy word, so you don't have to worry about it. Encouragement. So we have to do the same thing. We have to divide the word into different morphemes. So we have this, this word is also made up of three different morphemes. So we have this en, this carriage, and this met. And we have to label each um, each morpheme. So en, which is a prefix, carriage, which is the root, and which is a noun, and meant, which is a suffix. And then if we combine the prefix with the noun, carriage, it gives us the word in carriage, which is a verb. That's why we wrote here a verb. And if we combine this meant suffix with the the, the, the verb encourage, it gives us the word encouragement. That's why we wrote here noun, because encouragement is a noun. So this is um, as far as the second example is concerned. Now let's move to the third example. So we have overgeneralization. It may sound a complex word to work on, but it is not. So we have just to um, divide the word into different morphemes, as I said earlier. So this word is made up of four different different uh, morphemes. So we have this over, generalization. And we have over, which is a prefix, general, which is an adjective, suffix, this I, I, Z, E, which is a suffix, and Asian, which is a suffix. Second of all, we can do this. So if we combine the over prefix with the adjective general, it gives us the word over general, which is a, an adjective. And if we combine the I-Z-E um, suffix with the adjective over general, it gives us the word over generalize. And over generalize, as you can see, is a verb. Then we combine this Asian with the verb with the verb over generalize, and it gives us the word over generalization. And as you can see here, over generalization is a noun. That's why that's why we have labeled it as a noun. So it's not as um, as, as hard as it seems. So the, the next word is contextualization. So we have to do the same thing. We have to follow the same steps. So we, we divide the word into different morphemes. So we have here um, one, two, three, four, five different uh, morphemes. And uh, we have con, which is a prefix, 
we have the, the root, which is in noun text. We have suffix, three different suffixes here. And uh, then we can do this. So prefix, the prefix con with the, with the root or noun text gives us the word context, which is a noun. And then the suffix ual, if when combined with this noun context, this gives us the word contextual. And contextual is an adjective. Then if we add or if we combine this iz with the adjective contextual, it gives us the word contextualize. And contextualize is, as you can see, is a verb. And then if we combine this asian with the verb contextualize, it gives us the word contextualization. And contextualization is in turn um, a noun. That's why we have labeled it as a noun here in this case. Uh, we have another word here, which is extrasensory. So extrasensory is made up of three different morphemes. We have extra, which is a prefix, sense, which is the root, and which is a, no uh, a noun. And it has this ORY, which is a suffix. So we have suffix, noun, and the prefix. So we have sensory sense when combined with this suffix um, ORY gives us the word sensory and sensory is an adjective. And this adjective when combined with this extra prefix it gives us extra sensory and extra sensory is an adjective. We have the word here formalism. So formalism is made up of three different morphemes. We have the root, which is a noun, and then we have two different suffixes. So noun, suffix, and a suffix. And uh, first, we will combine the suffix al with the form, which is, with, with the word form, which is a noun. It gives us a word which is formal, and formal is a, an adjective. And when we combine this suffix i ism with the adjective formal it gives us the word formalism and this formalism is a noun uh, here we have another word so can you work this word by yourself can you do it can you draw a morphological tree for this word by your, on your own you can just pause the video to see if you can do it i give you a moment so you can now check your answer. So the answer to this, or the morphological tree of this word is this. Even though it may sound very complex at first, but it is not. As I said, we have just to follow the steps I have followed um, when drawing morphological trees of the previous words. Even though they may sound, they have, they, they sound, um, they sound, they sounded very complex, but they were not that complex at all. So this word is made up of one, two, three, four, five different morphemes. And uh, first, what did we do? We have the verb and we combined first this prefix re with place, which is a verb. And it gives us the word replace. And replace is a verb. Then we combine this able with this verb and it gives us replaceable and replaceable is an adjective and then we combine this adjective which is replaceable with this ir prefix and it gives us the word irreplaceable and irreplaceable is in turn an adjective and then we combine this suffix it with the adjective irreplaceable and it gives us the word irreplaceability and irreplaceability is a noun that's why we label it as a noun here so this is for uh, this is all for today i hope you enjoyed your the, the video thank you so much and uh, see you next time inshallah <laughs>